Hey guys, this is Rosa Kelly. So today I'm here to share with you a new project. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm excited as always to share with you a new project. So this is an explosion box that I created using the I'd Rather Be Crafting subscription box for the month of September. So I am slowly making my way back, <laughs> back to schedule. And I just love how this turned out. I think this turned out super, super cute. Um, so I don't have any more of these subscription boxes available, but I will be having a video class only if you're interested. So I will link it down below uh, but you can still subscribe for the November box so now let's go ahead and take a look at this project the box measures six and a quarter by six and a quarter on all sides and let me just give you a look all around here so this beautiful die here is part of the box and I just really like how uh, part of the subscription box. I mean, <laughs> I really like how this turned out here. It just gives so much detail and I'm really uh, loving this pink and black collection for Halloween. And then here is the front of the box, which is another die that also came as part of the subscription box. And then we have the ephemera pieces and the paper. And so yeah, so let's go ahead and oh, let me show you actually all the sides because I used two different papers. So we use this one, but then I also use this one here. So again, going with the black and pink designs. Um, now when we deck out the box uh, cover we have the reveal of the um, explosion box um, so here I can give you a closer look on the box and some of the uh, volume that I added using chipboard so here on the back I added one of the designs from the collection and I think this will be a really um, nice area to kind of put a date if you're putting Halloween pictures to put the year or a combination of years or if you're giving this as a gift you can put a little message there as well so let's take a look at each one of the levels here so these two sides are expandable um, accordion folds and so I just added a little bit bit of the ephemera pieces from the collection there was quite a lot of that and then this open this way as well so you can add a picture on that side and then same thing here as well you can add a little picture and then these some of these are just glue and some I made so you can take them in and out and then on the sides I just added cute little accordion folds using some of the elements from the collection so these are all the same so I won't open all of those but yeah so I basically match the size of the ephemera pieces to create these little booklets here and so these two other sides here are the same so I have another accordion fold so I'm not gonna open that uh, but then this opens and opens here and then I added some of the ephemera and so here I just used some of the leftover papers to create a little tuck spot and more of the ephemera so we had a lot of ephemera pieces on this book so pretty simple layouts here on the first layer and so these close and close and then for the large layouts um, here is where we added a little bit more interactive elements so on the back for each one of the sides we have a pocket so I just went ahead and added uh, some little photo areas you can add more here if you wanted to and then here we have a little image from the collection and place for journaling you can put a picture on the back and then this opens up and we have a pop-up so I added some of the ephemera to decorate the page and then I just left these backgrounds blank so you can just go ahead and add a picture and then these also slides to the side and then a place for a picture there as well so that is that side which is the same as this side here so on this one I added just a little pocket with again a lot of the ephemera pieces that we had put that there and then this also opens and we have a pop-up and then some of the um, ephemera pieces there and then this also slides so you can open that and then just gonna pull it 
and then we have the pocket here with another photo area so you can add more of those there but i just really like how these sliding pages turn out so you open it you get a pop-up and then you slide that whole piece so now let's look at these two other sides. So over here we have a place for a picture and then this opens up. We have background paper right there and then you can again add a little note or a picture and then this also opens up. So this is a platform page that you can also use as a little pocket. And then this also opens to the side and we have a cute little pop-up place here and i had some extra ephemera to decorate i just kind of forgot that we had this page here to be honest um and then we have the same feature that just repeats so here i did a little collage and then this opens up and this opens up here and another cute little pop-up and so there you go so this is the box um, project for the month of September which is a really fun explosion box um, so I hope that you guys enjoy the project I hope that you like how this turned out I absolutely love this collection and I want to thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye bye